Hi guys, welcome back to B Speed Shop. So I've got the floor just roughly clamped into place so that I can uh, mark out where I need to trim it to make it fit properly. So I'll show you how I've got it set up. So I've got a couple clamps just clamping it along to this edge and I'm using this clamp on this section here just to pull it into place. So what I need to do is along this edge is scribe a line down there so I can trim off the excess and then for this piece what I'll do is I'm going to make a line down this edge and I know that this piece is roughly 15mm uh, wide so what I'll do is once I mark an edge and I take this panel back off I'll be able to measure down and mark a second line where I need to cut it so I'll quickly get it marked out and then I can cut the excess off and we can try and get it fit in from the inside so I've got my floor pan just uh, carefully clamped in the vise so I don't crush those little ribs. Uh, so obviously what I've got to do is cut down this edge and then what I've done is this is where I marked it in the car and this is the extra. So this is what I'll do is I'll cut on the outside of this line or on the outside of this line. So I'm cutting into this piece. That way I can then file this edge to make it fit properly rather than having a gap on the actual piece in the car. I'd rather they overlap slightly and I just uh, grind this edge to make it fit. So I'll quickly cut this edge off, cut the bottom off. So what I've got to do in this corner is, um, so I'm cutting along this line, then I've got to come down this bit, because I need this bit in to weld on the end of the cross member. I've got my floor panel roughly cut to size now so obviously this edge I need to um, just grind a bit off this edge and it should fit because it's binding just there and it's binding on the inside of the edge just here but on this back edge I've still got about sort of another 10 mil or so that I need to cut off all the way along just so it fits in uh, one thing I found is um, where these folds are, the fold that goes on the inside of this edge, it's not quite in the right place, so it's hitting, um, it's not hitting on this edge here. So I'm gonna have to probably just use like a pair of pliers or something just to um, uh, redo the angle on the floor pan piece on this piece in here, just because it's just binding a little bit and it's not fitting all the way flush. So obviously I can uh, use my pliers just to bend it slightly and then I can use one of the hammer and dollies just to uh, finish it. 
So obviously you can see roughly I've got a patch to make to go up in this edge. So that's one patch I can do. So I did a little patch in here, I welded it in and ground back the welds. So other than trimming this edge and tweaking the angle, it fits pretty well. Obviously I've just got to grind this edge just to make it fit because it, it was binding just there. <laughs> So obviously I've just got to grind a little bit just from this section here somewhere just to stop it from binding and then hopefully I can get it tacked into place. So one other thing I've got to do is I've got to make a little uh, repair patch to go in there and then when I get my um, uh, cross member extension and the jacking point it's like one piece so I can then get that welded in. And then obviously I've got my uh, front support and the rear ones as well. So I'll be I'll be replacing this one just because it's rusted out. So what I've done is I've just uh, ground back the edges along there and along that edge as well, just so it fits nicely. So when we get close up, you can see there's like a very tiny gap between the existing floor and the panel. But that's okay, I'm happy with how this has come out so far. It all lines up quite nicely. Uh, it looks like there's a gap there, but there isn't actually. It's just this uh, floor piece, obviously this part's curved and this part's just flat. So what I will have to do is um, push them together, put on a few tack welds, and then just sort of hammer this edge up a little bit and hammer this edge needs to come this way a bit just so they fit because it's not um, tight on this edge so it is sort of like pulling in a little bit along there but that's okay I can fix that when I get a few tack welds on I can then use like a hammer and dolly just to mas massage it into shape uh, so what I did on this edge is um, I just drilled a couple of holes where the spot welds were and I just put a couple of nuts and bolts through for now just to hold it in place but I'm pretty happy with the way it's all lining up so far. So obviously I've only got uh, two clamps on this edge at the moment, so there's a little bit of a gap. So one thing I did have to do for this floor is um, the position of the bend along this edge, it wasn't in the right place and it was binding on this uh, firewall piece. So what I had to do was um, I used my box tube again and just used a couple of G clamps to clamp it in place. And then I just redid um, this bend along here. I don't really know if you can uh, tell, but just there, that's where the original bend would have been. So obviously I had to move it back a fair bit to get it in, just so it would fit within uh, the curve which is on this piece already. So what I can do is once I get a few tack welds in, I can just use a hammer and dolly to hammer this edge flat against this edge. But uh, you can see the top, there's like no gap along there. On the inside, it joins up there quite nicely as well. So what I will do for um, doing a spot rod along here is I will, um, obviously there's one supposed to be there, but I'll like drill every inch or so, and then do a spot weld along that piece that I've put in. So like just here, you can see the, the spot welds just there. But I'll do uh, the ones along this piece, I'll do them slightly closer together. So I can probably fit like one here somewhere, one here. I'll fit a couple along this section here. And then obviously, I won't spot weld um, this edge just yet because I need to replace this uh, door jam section. So you can see it's rusted out just there. And there's a few other places where it's rusted out. And it's few of these spot welds rusted out as well so it needs replacing so it's pretty much uh, ready to weld in now unfortunately I don't have time to weld it in this weekend so I'll come back next weekend uh, I will clean off some of this black paint from it and put some weldable primer along all the edges that way it's just protected and then 
I can do a few spot welds from underneath, uh, make sure it's in the right place and just slowly build up the welds till it's fully welded in. So I am going to be leaving this video here for the weekend. Unfortunately I didn't get my uh, floor panel welded in but it's ready to go. I just got to deburr a couple of the edges and then put on some moldable primer just to protect the metal where it overlaps so I can then do the spot welds and weld up the seams as well. So thanks for watching this video.